Hi friends! Happy Sunday! Kumusta po kayo? Alam nyo, these past days, dahil medyo maulan, no? Ang lamig-lamig sa umaga, ang lamig-lamig sa gabi. So, itong mga nakarang na araw, talagang napapatimpla ko ng kape. And then I thought, bakit kaya din natin pag-usapan ng cup of coffee for this week? My dear friends, we have some time. Come join me. Because today, I'm going to tell a story of how I met the father. Friends, try to imagine this. So one day after waking up, you stirred your coffee, you brewed your coffee. So yung mainit, yung mainit na kape na hawak mo ay plano mong inumen somewhere else. Let's say, sa room mo or sa veranda or sa terrace or sa sala, kung saan man. So while holding the cup, nakasalubong mo yung nanay mo, yung tatay mo, yung kapatid mo or whoever yung nasa bahay. At natapon yung kape mo. My dear friends, why did you spill coffee? Perhaps some of you will answer, Dahil nabangga niya ako eh, nagkabangga kami kaya natapon yung kape. No. My dear friends, you spilled coffee because there was coffee in your cup. Kung tsaa yung laman ng cup mo, tsaa yung natapon. Kung water, water yung natapon. What I'm trying to say, my dear friends, is that a lot, a lot of times in our life, whatever we feel in in our lives, kung ano yung pinupuno natin sa buhay natin, kung ano yung nilalagay natin sa cup, ay hindi yung lumalabas sa atin. I remember my dear friends, no? Um, ako kapag medyo na tataranta na ako or naaligaga ako dahil sobrang dami ng, ng trabaho, sobrang dami ng concern, sobrang dami ng iniisip, hindi ako makapag ano ba isip ng maayos hindi ako yung JM siguro na ano na ma- makikilala or makita nyo at kapag nagkataon <laughs> na may nakabangga sa akin may it be literally or figuratively talagang nasisigawan ko or talagang ano ba nasasnob ko or Sabi ko, hindi na, huwag niyo magugulay, no? doon ka na sa ganyan, doon ka na sa ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Because, siguro nung no, mga linggo na yon, I was filling my cup with so much hate, so much anger, so much frustrations and disappointments sa mga bagay-bagay. My dear friends, life will surely rattle you. Makakabangga ka ng mga tao in your life that will spill your coffee, that will spill your tea, that will spill your water. So whatever you feel in your life comes out. Kaya sana, no, we fill our lives with patience. Para in moments or in punong-puno tayo at biglang may nakabangga, meron tayong pasensya na may ilalabas, na may ibibigay, na may ihahandog para sa taong iyon. And siguro, no, a little practical tip kapag shina, uh, pag, ano ba, um, when life rattles us kapag someone bumps us makakatulong yung pause and breathe inhale exhale and my dear friend sana we fill also our cup with hope lalo na ngayon ngayong time ng pandemic and time ng crisis no na ang bilis uminit ng <laughs> ng ulo natin, mabilis maubos ang pasensya dahil feeling natin napaka-hopeless ng paligid, dumadagdag pa yung mga problema. So, why don't we fill our life, why don't we fill our cup with hope every day? And siguro, why don't we also we fill our cup with forgiveness? Araw-araw ka mang ginagalit ng mundo, sana gabi-gabi ka rin nagpapatawan. If you feel our, if you feel your life with forgiveness, if you feel our life with forgiveness, forgiveness also comes out from our lives. And also, my dear friends, fill our lives with love. Fill your cup with love. And let me share this prayer. This um, actually a line from from the bravery from the liturgy of the hours. It's a night prayer. And let this be your prayer too. Let this be our everyday reminder that by the end of the day, we pray this. 
we remind ourselves of this line, and we also ask for the grace na sana ito rin yung ipuno sa atin ang Diyos ating buhay. Day is done, but love unfailing. Sa Tagalog, natapos man ang maghapon, hindi ang magmahal. Because our life, our cup, is filled with love, it's filled with forgiveness, it's filled with patience, it's filled with God. My dear friends, have a fruitful week ahead. See you next week.